All right, you guys. Three Hello. minutes long. He's, Hello? Three minutes. Sorry, Donnie, but he needs to get... Look, you're back with the beamer. This gentleman here, what you're about to see in this channel, he's actually a viewer of my channel, Mako, and I think Lipsticks. He's a viewer of all of our channels. This man didn't say anything really wrong. I mean, that dude, I mean, that dude, that dude was, was, he didn't say anything wrong. Listen, man, if you have a channel, you want them comments because then your other subscribers go back and forth with these people. You know what I mean? And your videos and get it, shoved, and brother. It, it creates, it creates a, an algorithm, man. This man literally I mean, just looked at a fucking, a playlist and thought those were stolen videos that he posted. Barry, those are videos you have, a, let me, let me, I'm going to show you something, Barry. You have a watch later. Which these are all your videos that we're going to react to eventually that i went through during my free time and i watch later watch later means i go over here to your chant where you're where it says subscribe and watch it and i click save to watch later you can't stop me from doing that and this is your watch later stuff so i mean that's not he didn't steal no videos that's I mean, his like so if you like the video if, if, if you couldn't do reviews of anybody's channel man people have there's big time fucking youtubers Making big bank off of doing reviews of music videos. Yep. Do you so, think that they have to get permission to do that music video review? No, dumbass. So let's get into this. It's like the news running something. It's your opinion on something. Alright, guys. Welcome back. You're back with the Beamer Sun Garage. And I will point this out real quick. What kind of fucking retard goes over his rotted deck boards with plywood? Why? Hey, Barry, you know that holds water. I mean... The whole point of a deck having gaps between them so the water can run off and it can dry quicker. I mean, and listen, I want to clarify. When we call somebody a retard, we I'm going to clarify it again. I've done it a hundred times, so I'm going to keep doing it because I want to make it clear. We don't mean somebody that's learning disabled. We don't mean somebody with a disability. We mean somebody that's that, that a chick that says, he only hits me because he loves me. You know, hooked on meth and under their bridge. The that's retard. The type that Barry's been with. Yeah. I mean, we appreciate you coming back, uh, except for uh, one guy called Proud Islander with 140 subs. So this is another Mr. Barry, obvious. Barry, these Mr. Obviouses are uh, proof that people Proud don't like Islander, you. It's only obvious that I'm not a junkyard. I don't sell parts. I don't have a salvage license. You don't have. Barry, first off, let's get. You don't have to have a salvage license to sell parts. Jesus Christ. I mean. I do it all the time. You're a fucking read. This is what I mean. You mouth off shit when it's not factual. You don't know your ass from a hole in the ground. That's YouTube acquaintance. That fucking. That's what he does. He sells parts and has a YouTube channel. You think he's got a fucking salvage license? You dumb shit. I mean, You're a fucking retard. This is a whole Barry's whole fourteen years of doing YouTube has probably been this ex well. For the past four, but his uh, previous channel was probably the same yeah, way. Because he's had a previous, they've had a previous channel. There's videos from 14 years ago. When you Google Beamer's net worth, it, it, talk, it tells about, it says he's been doing this for 14, Beamer's Sun Garage has been on YouTube in some shape or form for 14 years. So, that being said, it's probably the same stick. He literally, and I'm not a stick, I don't usually do this, but just for Barry, I'm going to be like this. He walks up to his challenger and goes, this has a posse in it. Well, Barry, if you were a Mopar expert, it would be sure grip. That's the Mopar term. See, every make and mop, every brand has their own terminology. Mopar sure grip. Posse is a GM term. You fucking loser. You do not. That's the reason you hate Mo, I mean, fucking. Think about this common fucking sense. Okay, listen, guys. If an engine has top dead center, what's the opposite of top dead center? Bottom dead center. Bottom dead center. But it's not a term that a lot of everybody knows, but it is a real thing. If it can be all the way at the top of the dead center, then it can obviously be at the bottom of the dead center. Barry want to sit on a PlayStation Live, I guess, talking for six hours how how, how Austin's fucking dumber and shit. There ain't no such thing as bottom dead center. Well, if he, Google is your friend, and, dummy. Anybody that's took high school auto shop would know that. Well, well common sense, if it, can, if, it phys if it can physically be at top dead center, it can be at bottom dead center. It has to have an equal and opposite reaction. But my point is, with what I was getting at before Dad said that was, he talks on one of these videos, which is I think is my, this is proof Beamer's an idiot or Beamer's slow or uh, some stupid shit. Um, go back and watch that video. He talks about how he hates Mark Warman, right? Barry, that's why you hate Mark Warman, because he is everything that you've ever wanted to be. He is knowledgeable. He is restoring classic Mopars. 
and he's making killer money. Yeah. And, and he has a TV show. And I want to point out, you don't think he's crazy? Go back and watch that video and listen to the, to the, to the dreams of grandeur. This dumb cocksucker says, man, Mark Mormon don't have enough money in the world to come buy that car from him. Are you out of your fucking mind? And I'll Richard Rollins and Vince Collins some, some, Yeah, somebody showed up here with $60,000 and bought for that mock one. He would sign that title and be gone. Especially when he gets this little chump change he's about to get, 12, 13 grand out which, of his 30 grand settlement. Glad you mentioned that. Which, Barry, if you do go get a lawyer, I feel honored that you would take and waste that money knowing you're going to lose your ass. I feel honored. And I'm sure Mako feels the same way to, to know that you're going to lose your ass. Because what's going to happen is Barry's going to go buy. Listen, folks, we'll know the minute Barry gets that settlement, you will know. When he, not necessarily when he gets it, but when he can get his hands on the cash. Because when you get a big check, it has to clear. That could take a week. It could take two weeks. It depends on if Barry's got bad checks at the bank. I mean, it all depends. You'll know because the first, I'm telling you, I'm calling it the first thing this ignorant 61 year old cocksucker is going to do with that money is head to Walmart by PS5. Not fix some cars. He's not going to put a roof on his house. He's not going to fix his fucking deck. He's not going to spay and neuter his animals. He's not going to. He's going to go buy a PS5. Then you're going to see another, a bunch more junk show up at that fucking place to, to well, come to prison to die. I'm glad you pointed that out because I was going to say this. Barry gets his money from his 20 roller accident for the money for the truck. Instead of going and buying a nice truck with what he got, he goes and buys a rusted out Chevy. Since you paid 1,200 dollars for it, you, you know damn good well whatever that truck booked for, that's what the insurance gave him. So I don't know what it booked for, but booked for five grand. They gave him five grand. And he could have went and bought a nice truck for $5,000. Yeah, I mean, he, he, no, because he's lived off that money. He, he don't work. He wants to talk about everybody else not working. So, I mean, please sue us, Barry. So, we're going to get into this. My point is, Barry, fix I your fucking, something you don't, motherfucker. Fix your fucking deck. <laughs> like, for real. Mm. <laughs> Barry, I don't have no friends. I sit in my daddy's house and I jerk off. I got fucking hair on my palms. I got no teeth. I wear a lion's blanket. I got man titties. I fucking, I'm anemic. What else you gonna say about me, buddy? <laughs> I own nothing. I am nothing. I'm 25 years old and never gonna be nothing. <laughs> That's what I think about you. Am I crying? No, I'm laughing my ass off because the shit you say is stupid. No, let's talk about you, Barry. There's the facts. You are racist. You can't get around the words you said, Barry. You can't even spin them. I can just hear you trying to spin that shit around. Well, I was talking about people from the Middle East. Or I was... What the fuck does that matter? <laughs> you racist motherfucker. I mean... All right. Because this was good, too. Man, you're racist. You're minor attracting. You support a baby killer. I'm proven. Listen, You're a grandfather of six that hasn't seen your fucking grandkids in fucking ten years since the day was born. Let's see, before we get back into this, because this is stretching on too much, um, Barry has so much loyalty for this Miss, this Scott Wilson guy, right? He sets on live stream and outs him as a baby killer. It's going to affect the man's business. <laughs> it's going to affect it because people's going to get on there and they're going to voice their opinion on his business. That, that's loyalty, Barry. And he even asked you why it was sounding funny, dude. You lied. <laughs> Wait right till he finds this one out, Barry. And then once you grow up, you said you said it three times, then you're like, well, I mean the sink. Yeah, that's right. I dropped it the sink. My brain dropped his lip. That's what I mean. If you would just be yourself, Barry, but you can't, because if you, to be yourself, you have to accept that you're nothing. You're nobody. And then you would have to build yourself up from there. You'll never be able to do it. Hey Barry, you're as fake. You never better be honest about who Barry Beamer really is. You're as fake as a two dollar bill, buddy. Right, because in order to be honest, Barry Beamer's gonna say I'm a hoarder. It's a business. I fucked my whole life off. It's not a business. It's not profitable. Profitable. And so I'm not a junkyard, and this isn't a junkyard. That looks like a fucking scrapyard to me. Go to an island and die, as far as I can, you know, concerned about you. You left some nasty comments talking about, oh, he needs to get somebody call a zoning on him. He needs to get, you know, get called and get in trouble for the, you know, it's people like you that ruin it. Barry, you're killing stuff. cars. People I wish it too. Like you that ruin it for people no, in neighborhoods that maybe have. You know, a, no, uh, it's guess, people yeah, like you that get them. 85 cars and you're not going to make none of them go down the road. Who in the fucking, listen, I'm a car collector, dude. I'm not, I'm not a car collector. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a car, car enthusiast. enthusiast, man. 
I don't keep, if I get a car, they get it running, I pass it on if I'm not gonna do nothing with it. I only keep the the, the diamonds and the rough that I like. Think about the Catalina. If I, listen, I would not want to live next to Barry Beamer and have to look at that every day. Who would? He had, listen, he has no method to the madness. Oh. It's not like he has these cars lined up in rows. It's not, he's got tires everywhere. Shit just, it's not even the cars, folks. It's it's the clutter and the debris. Okay, I got a serious question for Barry. Barry, why does your yard look like that? You have a whole field over here. Why wouldn't you take the cars that you're not working on, the cars that don't run, we don't know you don't care about them rotten, and place them over there in the field. Like, get all your cars off your neighbor's yard and next to his garage and put them all in that field. I'm going to tell you the truth. Because the man is insane in his head. Them cars sitting there, he can keep an eye on them. Because people come up there and robbing parts off them cars. Ain't nobody robbing nothing off he, that. The man is truly fucking touched. Listen, folks, you heard him mention the 10 second car, right? That's the car in the garage. That's his challenger, right? See that car right there, that Barracuda? That 64, 65 Barracuda? That has a 318 two barrel in it. And I'm not talking bad about 318s. It's a 318 two barrel, all stock, stock as can be. He claims that car is a 10 second car. He's a, he's a creature, he's a repeater. Listen folks, I said, uh, the truth is I got a 32, it's not, it's not fake. I got a $32,000 settlement 15 years ago. Me and his mom did. 32 grand, but out of the 32 grand, we got 12 or $13,000 because all well, the fees come out. The next day, Barry's getting a $32,000 settlement on that Friday. Well, you ready for this? Austin says, I wear a toupee in the garage or clown out in the garage doing that one video. The next day, Barry's online talking about my toupee. He he, he, he can't, he's like, he, he's not smart enough to come up with different stories. He keeps the same story so you can remember, oh, I got two 10 second cars. You know what I'm saying? So you ready for this? I mean, See the, t the time machine there, that rusted out fucking pile of junk GT Mustang? That could be fixable and could be, you know, something if somebody got it. Um, that he said he paid five grand for. And there's like three other cars around here that he has claimed he's paid five grand. Five grand is this motherfucker's magic number. And he was talking about how he won this lawsuit of him stealing from his, mo his uh, elderly or disabled person, which was his mom or his dad. And he paid five grand to that person. Five grand is this motherfucker's magic number. He, he, he's, he's, he was he was in school. He was he was in the in the lower classes. And fucking he oh. never he never could accept the fact, dude, he was of nothing. what he is. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and I'm not saying you should accept. And, you and, should reach for the stars, uh, but you have to be real about shit, man. And I mean, I'm a learn I'm learning to say, okay, that's how much for starts. That would be like me getting on here saying, guys, like this man's done. We're going to be as big as Gas Monkey Garage. will never fucking happen. Not in a million right, years. Man. I mean, you teach your children to reach for the stars, but you also teach them to be realistic and set realistic goals. You know what I'm saying? That's like It's me. fine if you want to say you're going to be a rapper. It's fine. When Austin was little, he walked around and fucking listened to Eminem, and then people in the neighborhood called him Little E. I mean, he was never, he, he never tried to rap or that. I'm just saying, if he wanted to be a rapper, I would have told him, okay, that's fine, buddy, but you need to focus on this so you can do this until you make it. To be a rapper. You see what I'm saying? You have to teach your children realistic goals. It's fine to encourage them they can do whatever the fuck they want to do. But Barry's never had that because mommy always fucking paid his way. Oh, I mean. This is a dude. I guarantee you his friends can't fuck. Like normal guys, no, they fuck around with each other. No. Barry would get so upset that he would probably want to fight you just for fucking with him. I mean, like you told him to go get a toy and he looked at you and said, fuck you, I ain't giving you shit, man. Go get it yourself. You know, just playing around. You just play around. You couldn't be fucking with it. You couldn't be working a cream of berry and be working on him and like, like, fuck around, slap him on the ass or something. You know what I mean? He oh, would yeah. take offense to it. He would be like, I mean, me and my friends always called it, we always teased each other. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I mean. I mean, so we're getting back into this. I mean, Barry's just, he's a loser. I mean, the man brags about jumping a dude and beating him, man. Yeah, because, that video's on here, too. Because his friend couldn't get the job done. His friend was fighting him one-on-one, -on -one and he started getting beat up. So Barry and another dude jumps in with the other dude, and on the other dude, and breaks his ribs, and the dude gets sued for $4,500 out of it. Barry was a kid in high school. That, that don't make you a man, folks. If anybody watches this and you think jump two dudes on one dude makes you a fucking tough guy, that makes you a bitch. Nope. Homie. Barry was that kid in high school that got picked on severely, got shoved in lockers and shit, and went up to the, the really hot cheerleader and he, she laughed in his face. He claims he was number eight in the state of Ohio for swimming. Listen to the words I'm telling you. I'm not joking. He says it. He was eight in the state of Ohio for swimming. The man that hoarded his first bowel movement in that house somewhere 
Don't have no 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 ribbons, no nothing from that time. Oh Beamer, next time you shoot a video with me and Mako, uh, make sure you're done jerking off and make sure you take off your diaper next time. On a hot rod and they get a hot rod. And they can't keep it because of people like you. Proud Islander with well, a I, hold on. Hold on. A hot rod berry. One hot rod berry. That, you got, how many neighborhoods have you got kicked out of, Barry? How many houses have you got kicked out of? I'm asking the question. Because you, you turned into a junkyard. 70 cars in the fucking yard. Don't. He makes a comment in one of his videos. Where I used to live, I had to make sure they ran. Yeah. Barry. I mean, it don't take much to profile Barry Beamer. I mean, he's the loser. He was the loser of the neighborhood. He was the type of dude that parents told her little girls and little boys to stay away from. Right. I mean. You're not even monetized. You're not even on the map, dude. Hey Barry. The guy's not a YouTube channel. Exactly, and monetization doesn't make you a good person. And Barry, let's face some cold hard truths right now. Ready? You wouldn't be where you are if it wasn't for some shout outs. For one person in particular, Barry. You would still be a nobody that nobody knew. And you're still technically in the YouTube game a nobody that nobody knows. Do we get me, I don't know about Mako, but me, we get comments all the time. Who the fuck is Barry Beamer? Who the fuck is Beamer in the garage? Because, listen, he's bought bots, folks. Mm -hmm. He's had to. How can you have 3,000 subscribers and get 20 views, 40 views a video? How? Maybe 100 on average. Okay, yeah. how, okay, fuck it. How can, I'll even, how can you have 3,000 subscribers and get 200 views a video? Exactly. So, let's move on. You ain't nothing. You ain't nothing but a bitch. I'm going to call it like a... I'm going to call it like I see it, Barry. You ain't nothing but a 61-year-old lazy fucking map that should have been shot on the bed sheets before you were shot into your mom's anus. That if you keep going the way you're going, the day you die, you'll have one motherfucker shed a tear for you. One. It's up to you, Barry. You can change the shit. You can make people care about you. And again, but not being a person you are, you're not. And again, fix your fucking deck. That's see you guys. You know, this is the Mr. Audio show. It's, it's uh, like I'm not positive no more, you guys. Like you, it for people like me. You. I hate people like you. you and know? I hate people, hate people like, like you. Bitches. The ones that are gonna. Oh, look. Yeah. <laughs> Let him do his thing. I, I tell you what, people like you just destroy it for people like me and other people like me. No. You don't want to collect cars. And work people on like cars you destroy like cars. cars. Trying to start a legacy with their family. And a their legacy. Family. What family? Yes, yeah, people like you that just destroy it. Oh, there's your racing blaster. Like us, you, know? you have literally so guys, ran off the whole channel, family. Crowd, Listen. I've already blocked you. I've already reported you. Uh, you're a bitch. Listen, you know, he said he reported this person for that comment. Comments. Think about it. There was more to it than that, but you know, pretty much in a nutshell, he was, you know, Saying, you know, you got a junkyard. You do I got... No, I'm about to hear you exact like words. Not Barry's version of exact yeah. words. Barry, you do got a junkyard. Because we all know Just Barry lies. Mix it up. You know hey, Barry, a, a, tr a, a true car collector somewhere. would have never let a tree fall in their fucking mock, their fastback. Oh, yeah, well, I, 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 I don't care about their rich hair, would have never let a tree fall in their fucking I never saw a car collector. There you go. There we go. That's what I mean. You know, Barry thinks he's, he's going to hurt me or something. I grew up with a dad and grandpa that fucking teased me constantly. My grandpa used to call me Austina. Like, Barry, nothing you say is going to bug me. He used to call me Igor. Nothing you, gonna, you fucking say, dude, is going to bug me. You, the one thing that I had growing up that you never had was was a dad and a grandpa that taught me what the fucking world was and how to be in the world. You never had that. They taught me the truths of the world. That's the problem when you cushion your kids all the time. They turn out like this, man, with the, with their brain set like this dude. You know what I mean? They taught me something your mother taught you. When you fall down, it hurts. When you fuck up in life, it hurts. Listen, if you're going to be somebody, you can be like I used to be. And if somebody calls you a bitch, you're just going to grab them. You know what I mean? Or you can be a man, and that's a fucking word. Unless you put your fucking hands on me, then talk your shit because you look stupid there talking shit, threatening to whip me. And I ain't said nothing about whipping your ass. 
You're talking about whipping my ass. So if you don't put your hands on me, you're the bitch. And everybody around sees that shit. I mean, his mom used to tell me that when he was young, man, Jack let it go, look at him. I mean, and it's true. It took me a long time to learn that. Because but how, I learned it. Because how many people were like Beamer? When you put their hands on, they immediately dialed 911. Dude, yes, exactly. Exactly, man. That's what I'm saying. I've dealt like, with people like him a whole lot. Dude, if anybody went to, if you go to his driveway, you are going to jail. I mean, because he is going to come out of the house and he's going to stare on that stupid. He's like I did talk, the other night. He's going to talk so fucking tough and say video. so much shit to you. The whole time, he's going to have 911 on the phone. He is a coward. Listen, folks. For anybody that thinks Beamer's not killing cars and he's going to put cars on the road, that's a 70 Roadrunner. One of the fucking, I'm going to say the most desirable, but one of the, yeah, one of the most desirable Mopars ever built is a Roadrunner. And 70 is the year that everybody wants. This man has one. It has been sitting uncovered. If this was me, that car would be where that RV is. And that RV would be at Scrapyard. That car has a 440 that he's never going to do anything with. He's got tires leaning yeah, up against Yeah, he's got it. tires leaning up against it. He's setting shit on it. He don't even have enough fucking, I don't know, brain cells to pull his busted up fucking piece of shit 73 Challenger out of his garage and get that motherfucker in where it belongs. So when he so when he dies, Ryan can sell that and get some, you know, 14, 15 grand out of it. As a set. As a set. He, he has, let's be honest about his cars. One of these days we're going to tell him to listen to his cars. Because he has two cars there, two that somebody that in the, in the one the Mustang it would need a full rotisserie restoration, folks. When he shows you the driver's side of it, look where the fender meets the fucking window, man, and look at the bottom. It ducks down when he they welded the frame up and shit. They welded the crooked. I mean, the car dips, man. But he has that and he has that. Okay, there's Everybody a car. there's, Everybody cars. there's a see it. there's a seventy. No, 70, 71, 72, 73, I don't know which one. Can't remember what he said. Fastback, right? He talk, it's the one that's been smacked hard in the rear end and in the front end. And the frame and, rough. And I'm getting to that. And he says that this frame rough aren't in this car. That car is not, you could still pick those cars up. And I've had it in a video. There was a really nice black one on here that ran and drove for like 15 grand, 12 12 grand, 10 grand, I don't remember, it was cheap. It was a decent car. Yeah, it was decent, beautiful. It would have been better shape than yeah. shells. He talks about that. Well, you might better get a shell. I would rather buy, listen, if you're going to buy a car, it doesn't matter if the car is complete, all the way complete, if it's rusted the fuck out and everything on the car needs exactly. replaced. I would, uh, or would you rather buy a shell that is solid as fuck and now you can start putting good parts back on it? Or the one that's rusted out and you got to take all the shit off of it, throw it away and still get good shit. With the, with the shell, guys. I would go for a sandblast shell if you find one, because that's going to reveal every. It's not going to be like a Beamer special that's got Bondo picked in every corner, he, hiding rust. You don't have one car there that if you put it in a blaster or had it dip, that dude, it would just be bad. It, oh, it, 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 oh, just because that black car right there looks good. Once you take all the ugly, think about it, guys. That that car back in the day was somebody's daily driver. Yeah, they're gonna. Have you don't been. think it ever gotten a fender bender out through all them years? You don't think it's ever been painted and had a bunch of mud stuff in holes? One more thing before I get on to the next one. Barry has a black 1960. It's a Beamer and Sons Garage sp paint special. Rattle can black paint. I guarantee he's got like a 65. You got to see there. He's put a GM HEI fucking coil or whatever module, whatever the fuck it is in it. And I guarantee if you took a magnet, not a not a, like a heavy magnet, like a magnet you like Rock Auto, and you ran down the side of that car. Keep in mind. A light magnet, like a rock auto magnet, is supposed to stick to metal. It's not going to grab it and, like, pull a dent in it or something. And you ran in that car. I guarantee that car, none of that magnet would stick to any of that back quarter. I bet it on that one. I bet it on that one. And I'm betting it probably on the other one that he's painted over there. You can see his body work. Go check out where he talks about He's got the body work done on Ryan's, what is it? Uh, Charger. Charger? charger? Uh, yeah, Charger. Ryan's Charger. All but the driver's side door, he said. It's done. Ready for paint. Go look at it, man. I mean... And something else before we move on. Second car in the garage. Go get a good video. Watch one of his videos a bit. And when he shows the back, look at the passenger side frame rail. It's past it. You don't even saw a close up. You don't have to be close to it. The, the patch he put in sticks down three inches past the original frame rail. And that one, car wouldn't pass tech at an eight mile track. And one more thing for me, when I know I keep saying that, but I want to point this out too. What person? Think about this. What person? He said he had Ryan's Charger body work about done. Takes a car that they have that they're supposedly almost done with body work and puts it out in their field for two more years, knowing that that bondo is going to eventually crack or 
fuck up. Yeah, I mean, think about it. Let's go on to the next one.